Alrighty. Hello, hello everybody. This is Kirusho here, and now. Before we do start, let's give a brief little review. In the last part, a number of events have happened. Now, we had Deku, and we also had Riri Williams. The two have been working together and being superheroes and trying to be a team. However, Riri, instead of this being a partnership, it feels more like she's a sidekick. Yes, Deku has helped her upgrade her tech and gave her an AI. But, the fact of the matter is, he does not trust her. She's smart enough to understand that. However, she knows who he is. And that is already a pretty big factor. He came back to the armory and proved her theory that he was a Zuku Midoriya. That already should be enough trust given. Yet it was not. And she's having trouble with that. Now, there also was Shasa Hammer, who she herself was beginning to go down a bit of a rabbit hole. While her family is crazy, she's found a way out. At least, she thought she did. She found somebody who could help her get rid of this, get away from it. And she has all these ideas going through her mind about what to do. But there is one major issue. Iron Man could potentially put her behind bars and keep her from ever seeing Izuku again. And that is a very big problem. Now, currently Sasha is trying to talk to the team about a few things. Talk to her grandfather, who is currently getting his suit back off the ground. Now, with that being said, Hammer Industries, they need to do quite a bit. And the Guardsmen, they don't have a lot of time. There's no telling whenever Iron Man might release this data. And with the fact that the Avengers are off of planet, means they can make their move. Now, Sasha has a lot of things going through her head. And she's not too sure. She wants to talk to Izuku. Get a phone call off before doing something stupid. And it seems troublesome. Now, there currently is today, where Sasha does go to call, and currently Deku, he does so bring his hand up, him grabbing his phone and going to answer it, him currently walking into another room, him going into the elevator and going upstairs. Now, Sasha, she wants to talk to Deku about a few things. I mean... He's still in protective custody, and she's wondering if by turning herself over to S.H.I.E.L.D. it could work. She could see him. Maybe, maybe visit? I mean, it's still hard to even really say. And Deku, he does try to talk to Sasha. He's a little bit busy at the moment, but he wants to know if she's okay. The last time they talked, she seemed kind of... Frantic. And Sasha should I tell Izuku. She's fine. Though, there's a lot she has to do. She took some of his advice. And she's got a few things to handle. But, she wants to ask him a question. Hmm? What is it? Well, I, I don't know. I've heard a few things going on with Iron Man recently, and I don't know how to handle them. What do you mean? I'm just saying, Iron Man's been a bit... off. He's claiming to have evidence to be able to put my grandfather behind bars. I don't know how to feel about that. I think if that happens, then a lot of people might come after me. Or... People might have a hostile takeover of the company. The shareholders will try and get what they can if Hammer assets are frozen. Or they can be turned over to my mom, but I don't know. My mom wouldn't be able to lead the company the right way. She's not really a businesswoman. At least, well, not the way I'm thinking. Her gonna think. Her mother is dangerous and a cutthroat individual. 
She could make things work, though she'd end up by her bars too. She's not that organized. And Sasha does have it run through her mind. It's a bit worrying. And Deku, he does sort of understand. He's trying to put himself in her shoes right now. Though that is a bit of a challenge. She wants to get away from all of it. Maybe... No, no. Just... Try to think, Kizuku. Sasha... I can understand. Y you can? Yeah. No, I, I do. Listen. Just... Try to do what you think is best. Okay? I understand. I've got a lot of things going through my head. Do you want to talk about it? <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm not really used to that. Yeah. No, I, I get it. You're not very emotional. I mean, I, I wouldn't really say that. So, did you need more advice? Um, no, no. I think I'll be okay. Though, I did need to hear that. I was already trying to do my best, but I just need some reassurance. Thanks. That went through her mind. And Deku, he currently doesn't hang up the phone. And Sasha... She already put a few plans in place. Though, I mean, her plans are simple, easy, and if done properly, can do quite a lot. I mean, she can make her grandfather get what he wants. Though, she can also get what she wants. She could probably try to talk to her mother and see how things can go that way. Or, so should she just take initiative? She's going to be 18 in less than two years. So, hmm, there's a plan. Right. No, no, if she... If she's able to deal with her grandfather, then things will be okay. And then... Her mother, she can probably deal with her then. I mean, she'd be too busy with the company anyways, and she hardly pays attention. Huh. Right. She probably won't even show up to find out what happened to Grandpa. She just, oh, well, that happened. Well, toodaloo. <laughs> Always dismissive. No time for anybody. Not even family. That went through her mind. And Sasha, she begins to make a plan to handle the situation. Now, Deku, he does it to get a few more things. Him, right now looking around the warehouse and going to collect some metal. And there actually is back down inside the armory. Where Miss Williams does have a lot going through her mind. Her messing with her armor and trying to find out what to do. And there actually is Odeku. He's going to open the elevator and roll back into the room with some metal. Him going to actually put the cart to the side and then going to walk over and bring his hand down, tapping onto the button as you see blueprints begin to pop up in a hologram. And Deku, he has to bring his hand up. Him swiping his hand to the left as right now he's to at least look for the one he's looking for before going to land on Mark IV. And Deku, he has to at least bring his hand up, tapping onto a few things and making sure all of this is centered and perfect. And Deku, he does the interface with Friday. Him currently going to actually bring his hand up and look around. Deku, seeing the hologram through his eyes. And Izuku, he has to bring his hand up. Him staring at his arm, as it does look like it's covered in armor to him. Izuku bring his hand up and staring at the repulsor, flipping his hand. And Riri does a turn her head, seeing Izuku, asking what he's doing. Hmm? 
visualizing. It's a bit tricky, but I just need to focus. Deku brings his hand down into a fist. And Riri does try to ask. Okay. So, is his Mark IV almost done? Blueprints are almost done, but certain pieces have been manufactured. I haven't made the torso or most of the lower body. Though, I got pieces made. What's up? Hmm? Nothing. So, what now? Not sure. Listen. The guardsmen have been quiet. Yeah? I think we both know what that means. Sure. It means you're going to be on edge. Both of us. Yeah. Whatever happens, let me deal with Detroit Steel. She knocked you around, huh? It's not just that. I think it's best that I deal with her. She's dangerous. She tried to cut you open. There's also that, yeah. Just let me take measures against her. Though, we can work together to take down firepower. Yeah, I can agree with you there. He's too big for the single, well, a singular iron person to take down. <laughs> right. Which is why I have an idea. Deku turning his head, staring at the 2.2 suit. And Riri does get to ask, if he's really thinking that that thing can take on a Hulkbuster. And Deku talks about it. It doesn't have to take it on. It's a giant suit of armor. All they have to do is make sure it either runs out of power or can't move. Besides, the thing is a walking tank. And last time he checked, it doesn't have eyes in the back of its head. <laughs> sure it does. They're probably smart enough to put a fucking rear view camera on the armor. True. What if we take out the camera? If we blind the pilot, he can't see. Exactly. Now you're understanding it. <laughs> that is good. Thanks. Now, the two do get to head out. Riri flying blind before they do get to get to the city. And she actually is trying to make a map in her head. Find out where they leave from. I mean, the sounds outside the armor, she can't hear. All she can hear is the howling wind, but there's that smell in the city. It's annoying her. And that's the problem. She's just not sure if he's not trusting her. And Deku, he has a few things going through his head. As over the next couple days, the guardsmen, they continue their usual routine. They go out and be heroes along with the people in the Iron Family. And Deku, he is a bit more concerned. Sasha doesn't call him. And that is an issue. And there actually is today. Where Titania Man, he is back up and running. With some upgrades. And that does mean quite a bit. Hammer is quite happy. His granddaughter, she helped him improve his suit. And her suit has also come a long way. And Sasha, she wants to take down Iron Man. Maybe complete this vendetta. Make it look like an accident. Make it look like she... Hmm. Make it look like she's down and out. Then leave. Right? I mean, the battle can take on... Take many people. It took out force. And then... Well, she doesn't have too much help for Shockwave. That went through her mind. The man's suit has a bomb. And he doesn't even know it. And then there's firepower. Quite the unfortunate circumstance. If those were to go off. And that does run through her mind. And there actually is, right now, 
Deku flying through the air. As right now he's got a lot going through his head. We're not him asking Friday a few questions. And Friday is trying to respond back as best as she can. And Deku, he does try to ask her about the next thing that needs to be taken care of. And currently there actually is where she does at least scan the network. Her trying to find any crime currently in progress. And Deku, he does get a report back from Friday. There is currently something going on across town. And Deku, he does want to fly over and check it out. Him going to contact Riri and ask her how her patrol has been doing. And currently things, they've been okay. But there actually is Deku. Deku, he has got a lot going through his head. And right now, things are supposed to be a bit easier. For him, at least. It's been a bit of a long day. His suit is at 70%. And he has a lot going through his head. He's been thinking about a few things. Worried. He's thought about coming forward as an inhuman. Maybe tell his parents about it to let them know what happened to him. I mean, at least let them in on that part of his life. Allow them to know. But if he does that, it also poses another question. Letting them in on a secret? I mean, him being Iron Man has resorted to them being put into a shield safe house. So, there's that. Okay. But still, Izuku, you've got to think. Mama never approve of you being a hero. Dad, that's a different story entirely. He's just been supportive about a lot of things. He confided in him about Sasha, but this isn't just girl problems, it's his actual life problems. Being Iron Man is a part of who he is. Especially after he awakened these gifts. This new part of him that just feels natural. And it does worry him. Now, with that being said, Deku, he does get a report from Friday. Her going to actually give a warning as she's to activate Deku's air brakes. Currently, Deku slowing down from his speed. And someone is a flying up right past him. Deku, watching us right now, Titanium Man, does it a turn and float back down. Him going to express about how things are at the current moment. Is Iron Man happy to see him? Because he's back in action. And Deku, he does a float backwards. Him bringing his hands up and telling Hammer. Now is not a really good time. And if he is here about the information, he should know. If anything does happen to him, it will be uploaded. Now, currently Sasha does a flying up. Her bring her hands up and going to break in the air. Her going to hover as there goes a turn. Friday alerting him that J Justin Hammer is not alone. And Deku, he's a turn seeing Detroit Steel. And right now he's a lot going through his mind. Reveals identity to her and put her grandfather behind bars? Or, well, figure out what to do here. Okay. Friday? Yes, yeah, Suzuku. Likelihood of success? Likelihood of success, including inhuman abilities. Factored in at probability of 36%. And if we're being generous today, 47%, with current power capacity at 70%. Chances rise to 52 at 100. Right. And if I employ the same strategy I did with these current upgrades, strategy may work. Chances of success go higher. Now, Deku, he is running the numbers. And as I turn to Justin Hammer, Ham going to try and interface with Hammer technology. And the man, he is going to float forwards, expressing to Iron Man about what is about to happen. He is going to hand over that technology. And then... He is going to 
do quite a bit for him. They have been looking in to Iron Man, trying to find out a few things, see a few things, and know a few things. And Hammer, he's quite impressed, though he is annoyed. Because he has tried to tell Izuku, this will be the last warning he gets. Because the next time they show their faces, he is going to kill him. So, hang up the armor and delete the footage. And he can survive. Because he couldn't even take on Steel the last time she showed up. And Crash is a fly forwards. And forming Iron Man. Deku turning his head. Azure Shield. Let Shield. Azure no Justin Hammer's technology. His encryption's a little bit higher than Deku expected. And Deku, he does it just don't stop. Right now, him feeling a bit odd. As Deku. He doesn't feel something begin to run down his nose. And Deku does a turn looking at Steel. Hergon Express. Give up the information and he gets out of this alive. How about that? Let go of the information and data. And then just leave. Stop being a hero. That is their job. And Deku, he does stare at her. She's trying to be aggressive. But that's not Sasha. Right. This is steel. Maybe... No, no, it has to be an act, right? But why is she trying to escalate this? Now, Titanium did try to express to her that she needs to dial it back. And steel is trying to express her going to fly forwards that she is not going to. If Iron Man releases that data, it will be the end of all of them. And Hammer, he can understand. I'm going to bring his hand up and blast Rookie and Iron Man's back. As Deku's that activate his shields, her flying forwards and bring her hand up, blasting out to his Deku as it shows it to deflect both of their attacks. And Deku, he has to do one thing. He has to bring his hands down and blast himself up into the air, trying to get away from these two. Now, Sasha has a blast Rookie after Iron Man, and so does Titanium Man. Him, right now, begin to do quite a few things. And there currently is Ironheart, who should begin to make her way towards Iron Man's location. However, Sockwave decided to surprise her. Keep her busy and take her down if possible. They already had a deal with War Machine and Iron Man once. However, this chick is not Iron Man. And that's it does lure Soundwave into a false sense of security. And that right now is not a good thing. Let us currently cut back to Deku. Deku, he has a lot going through his head. Run him flying up high to make sure civilians are not hurt during the battle. And currently Shockwave, while he's handling her, Deku's at two right on his tail. And that is not a good thing. I'm going to tell Friday about possible maneuvers he can take. And right now his system is a good alert. Him actually want to turn his head and see missiles flying towards him. And Deku does it across his arms. Him activating his shields. As John Detroit Steel and Titanium Man are flying up. And Sasha, things are already going according to her plan. And that is good. And there actually is Titanium Man. Right now Justin Hammer is piloting the suit. And here's a smile himself. Take down Iron Man and potentially stop an upload. Or, maybe take down internet service for the entire state. Do whatever he can and make sure he can pull down the information from the internet. Maybe just fly out and knock out communication networks for a day. It should be possible. I mean, get to work on that and then everything should be easy breezy, right? That went through his mind. And currently Deku, he has not actually someone to stand there. After the smoke does it clear and his shield protected him. I'm going to bring his hand up. And currently, going to blast Rookie out towards Detroit Steel. Her flying through the air, I'm going to dodge. Bring her own hands up and encountering her blast with Deku's. And Deku does a watch her fly towards him. Her trying to smash right into Deku as he's bring up his shield. Her smashing into it as she actually does go skidding off the top of it. Deku actually is going to move backwards as he is going to try and tell Steel. To stand down. And things not to turn out this way. 
Now, Sasha does not say a word. Her bringing up her own tech and firing a jerky at Iron Man. Right now, her sending a round directly into his armor. Now, Deku, he has a stand there. Bring up his shield as she keep her Gatling gun firing at him. And Deku, he has a turn to Titanium Man, who is going to fly up, blasting out directly with his own repulsors. And he has a wait. Him going to actually fly in and activate his own shield. Him smashing Drake into Deku's as the two, they collide. And right now they do to form one massive shield as the team is going to fly forwards, smashing in and grabbing Drake into Deku. Him going to actually fly him down and talk about it, bring back his hand. The shield he made, it must be based off of his des designs. Though, all you have to do is just change up the frequency and you'd be surprised. Now, Deku's very alarmed. And currently he's going to shut off his shield and hammer just to keep his active. Deku could actually change the frequency of his shield and blast it out. Run out it messing with hammers as Deku is able to get away from the man and float there. Him bringing his own hands up and going to tell Hammer that the last time they did this song and dance, it did not end pretty well. And Hammer, he agrees. So that's why he made upgrades. I'm going to bring his own hands up and trying to send out a sonic blast to Deku. And Deku, he does it bringing his own hands up. Him doing the exact same thing as he'll send a sonic frequency directly at Hammer. Now, the waves do to clash together, and Hammer is a bit impressed. Deku brings his own hand up and trying to tell Friday for countermeasures now. And Friday doesn't do so. Her gonna fire them directly at Titanium Man as Deku he has to cut off the arm power to his thrusters. Him falling backwards as I bring his hands up. Blast your at Detroit Steel as he's going to turn them back on. Him flung underneath and coming up, smashing Rookie into Titanium Man as Deku's going to fly backwards. Him bring up his arm and going to actually tell her, Flamethrower! Now, Friday does it to deploy it. Her shooting a gel directly onto the Titanium Man. And right now that gel, it does a light up whenever it does come into contact with oxygen. And Deku, he's going to fly backwards. And Titanium does it to bring his own hands up. Him, a lot more alarmed, trying to yank chunks of this gel directly off of his own armor. However, it is not easy to pull. And the more he does that, the more he just spreading the fire around. And Deku, he does going to tell Hammer. You know, he did make upgrades. Precautions. He did take advice from a lot of people. Though, he also does learn. Surrender now and he'll put out the flames. Surrender now, and things won't be, right now Hammer's armor going to explode. And Deku, he going to watch that. Right now the front of his chest piece going to blow off. And Deku, he's alarmed. Right now Titanium Man flying backwards, as just Hammer, he's trying to gain a control on his armor. He felt something hit him directly in the chest. And that was not easy. However, his systems, they're all in the red. Now. Hammer is going to try and turn to comms, and smashing onto the button as he is trying to press eject, but something's wrong. And currently this suit of armor does become the man's titanium coffin. Now, the moment Deku does see that he's kind of in shock, Ham is going to try and fly down as they're actually Detroit Steel, who is going to bring her hand down and blast out a line to at Iron Man. Right now Deku, a lot more alarmed, is going to smash into his armor, and Deku is going to feel it to electrocute him. Him feeling the shock in his actual body as his own screamed in pain. And when Detroit Steel does a grapple in and reel Deku in, her swing her hand up and over her head and throwing him backwards and away. And she's trying to make things quite clear. That's not going to be easy for him to do. Now, Deku's a lot more alarmed. Him staring at her and yelling about exactly what happened. And Deku, he gives a stare on. Steel going to express. She gets it, but that was part of her plan. And Deku, he's taken aback. And Deku, he does stare at this monster in front of him. Now, Steel is going to inform him. The plan was simple. They make it look like Iron Man killed Titanium Man. And Iron Man, his reputation is ruined. Because he took down him and was injured in the process. Though, Detroit Steel also 
well, let's just say, has to go into retreat. And things aren't easy for him. Now, Deku is very alarmed. And currently, he has a turn looking back down to the ground. And there actually is in New York City, where the titanium suit, it is heard falling down. For he's a smash rookie down into a city street and lay there. And people, they're kind of alarmed. Azra Justin Hammer lies there dead inside that suit. Now, with that being said, there actually is Detroit Steel. Who does? Gonna bring her own hands up and gonna blast out with her own repulsor attack. Her turn and form Iron Man. Her deploying her guns and flying forwards. About exactly what that does all mean. Now, Deku, he has a little watcher fly towards him. Him bring up his shield as she's a fly in and make her own. Now, Deku is clocked across the face as she's a tell him. Bring up her own hand and deploying her chainsaw. Swing it up and over her head as Deku's a bring his own hand up. Him blocking the attack with his arm. And currently he's going to feel the chainsaw grabbing into his tech. Deku bring his hand up and Deku smashing into the side of it as he's going to try and tell her that she didn't have to do that. Now, the train still does get sent flying backwards. Over Deku, he has to throw his feed rookie to her chest and th activate his thrusters by 10%. Her being knocked backwards and having the wind knocked out of her body. And Deku, he has to bring his own hand up. And Friday does it inform him. Armor integrity has been compromised. The armor has been breached. And Deku... Yeah. Not good. Okay, so... She's a psycho. No, no, no. That's not Sasha d under there, is it? Now. Deku's gonna bring his hand up. Informing Friday. All focus on evasion. He's going to hack her armor, and he's going to bring her in. She needs to stand trial. Now, Deku does have tears in his eyes. And right now, Friday does go to ask if Izuku is in the correct emotional state to make this response. Because emotional state is registering as high. And Deku, he's going to tell her, override. Now. Sasha does stare at Iron Man. As currently Iron Man, he has to do one thing. He does not bring his hands up. His repulsor is going to light up as he does send out a blast. Him going to actually fly backwards as his thrusters on his feet do to blast down. Him making his way down into the city. Now, there currently is Sasha. Who is a blast down after him. Her a lot more intrigued about following him and making sure she can put him down. If she does that, then she can be with Izuku. I imagine reputation is tarnished. Her grandfather's out of the way. And then it's just her mother. She can do that too. Make that look like an accident. And that is running through her mind. Sasha has it all planned out. I mean, cut out the toxic people from your life. That's what Izuku said. And she'll... She'll do this. She'll be free of them. And then it won't be... She won't live in their shadows. That ran through her mind. And Sasha, she's getting a bit hysterical. Her bring her hands up and blasting out towards Iron Man. And Deku, he is trying to work. Right now, him going to actually have his shields go active. And Deku doesn't inform Friday. Increase speed by 20%. Also, increase energy output to shields by 50. He needs her to keep him fast. However, Make sure she is still in chase parameters. And Friday does understand. Right now Deku's speed going to increase by 17% as his shields, they go up by 50. And Deku, he has to watch the energy in his suit drop down fast. That move, it's going to send him back and he does it hear it from Friday. At current output, suit will only last for three more hours. Unless he goes in for offensive capabilities. And Deku, he does continue to fly fast. Him trying to hack her armor. And Deku, he's going to fly fast to the left. Him bring his hand out in front of him. And going to send out a blast forwards. Him going to turn left and fly that way. And currently Detroit Steel, she's going to do the exact same thing. 
her armor, keeping one on his tail. And right now, Sasha has a lot going through her mind. Her bringing up both of her hands and blasting out guns directly at Izuku. And Deku, he is trying to dodge. Him trying to roll down and then fly back up. Him trying to cut around corners fast. And Sasha, she actually had a smash on the side of a building where she's going to try and get around a corner. Everyone watching Detroit steal could actually bring her hands up and get angry. Her blasting forwards and towards Iron Man as debris is at a fall. And Deku, he does go to try and keep things fast, keep things ready. And that, that's where he's currently at. He has one more idea, though he's not too sure how well this might go. No. Right now, there actually is Detroit Steel, or Sasha, who has been quite adamant about catching up to Iron Man. Her can actually throw out her hand and send out a grappling hook. It's going to fly through the air and smash her into Deku's shield. And Deku, he does get actually some turn. Him staring at Detroit Steel. As he's a turn on his air brake. Him flying backwards as the shield of the Deku smash right into her armor. Her a lot more alarmed as Deku, he doesn't even bring his own hands up. Him going to actually throw himself back down and smash onto the ground. Him going to land and stand back up. Bring his own hands up as her Sasha does go to try and gain her own bearing. Her feeling blood in her mouth as she tries to turn to Iron Man, bringing up her own hand and informing him about exactly what he did. And Deku, he has a stare on, him still trying to make sure he can get into her armor. And as Deku, he's trying to work fast. But fast is not easy. And he has to tell Friday, activate parameters to keep Detroit Steel from killing him. Activate combat protocols. And Friday, she doesn't understand. Her asking Izuku if she is authorized to use lethal force. And Deku, he does stay silent. And Friday does begin to go on the offensive. Right now, Sasha blasting out Rookie with her repulsors as Deku's shields do go to activate. Right now, Izuku is going to bring up his hands and blast out towards her. Now, this is where Detroit Steel does go to try and fight with Iron Man. And people are watching this. These two both with their repulsors blasting at each other as Deku, he doesn't actually have one of his shoulders shoot up. And gonna blast out missiles at her as she's bringing up her hands. Her gonna actually fire out with her weapons and take them down. Her watching Izuku. As right now she has to at least bring up her own hand and blast out a missile. Deku gonna make a shield. Right now Friday gonna activate emergency protocols. Now. Deku, he doesn't start attacking her. And right now, while Friday is trying to hold off Detroit's steel, Deku is trying to find a way into her armor. And steel is not happy. Iron Man is not going very much on the defensive. He is using basic blast to try and take her on. And that does not make her happy. Her gonna fly forwards and activate her own shield. Right now, Deku gonna bring his hands up and activate his own. As the two do to collide and smash directly into each other. And that is right now where Detroit Steel is going to continue flying forwards at Deku. The shields continuing to basically collide, as right now there actually is where Steel does try to inform Iron Man, bring her hands up about exactly what he's doing, about exactly what he's done, and what he's interfering with. Now, Deku does hear her rant on like a madman, and that's where Deku, he does bring his hands up. Right now, him going to actually have his Xenobeam fire as he has to lower his shield. Right now, her shield pushing her backwards in her bubble. And Deku's going to watch that. Steel going to actually sm smash onto the ground and bring down the shield. Her going to turn and get back up. Her armor going to inform her about her current power output. And she's going to do one thing. She's going to bring her hands up, increasing her output to 100% and blasting off the Unibeam. And Deku... He does actually bring his hands up. Him going to actually make a shield to try and protect everybody around. And Deku, whenever he does at least make that attempt, he has to divert all his power to his shield. Now, Deku is still trying to hack her suit. Currently, him trying to hold on as Friday just trying to give him warning. It is working overtime to try to keep him alive. And Deku, he does just tell Friday just to keep it up as long as possible. And there actually is where Steel does a fly forwards. 
her, bring her own hands up, and blast it on the shield. Right now, Deku can watch it break, as Friday does it do one thing. She does at least bring up Deku's arm. Her going to actually shoot a sonic disruptor directly at Steel. And Steel is going to bring her own hands up. Her we're not going to actually recoil as she doesn't have her ears begin to ring. And Deku's going to watch on. Sasha screaming out as Deku, he does try to continue to get into her armor. And Friday does try to give him an alert. There is currently a massive reports of Deku telling her, put it to the side and continue with directives. Now, Friday, she does continue on. However, she does make numerous attempts to alert Izuku of a few things. And that's Deku is ignoring at the moment. Right now, him watching his power drain dramatically. Now, Deku, he does continue to at least battle along with Steel. And things aren't looking too good. Right now, Deku bringing his own hands up and firing out missiles at Steel. Her bringing her hands up and going to block and dodge. Her flying forwards as she's bring up her hand. Her watching Deku attempt to make a shield as she's bring up her hand. Her going to actually fire out a sonic wave as Deku is going to feel it mess with his armor. And currently, there actually is where Friday does try to alert him. Power has fallen below 30%. And Deku, he does not like to hear that. Him going to turn to her and bring his hands firing at his flamethrower. And right now, Steel does a fly backwards before going to fly forwards. Her flying in and smashing directly into Deku. The two barreling into the ground as they bring her hand up. Her to pull in her chainsaw and bring it down. Deku going to actually cross both of his arms as she is trying to cut right into him. And Deku does try to tell Friday to deploy the shield in front of his arms. He needs something to protect him. Now, Friday does try to alert Izuku of spatial awareness. And Deku, he does do one thing. He does get a blast backwards. Right now as Steel is trying to cut through his armor, he doesn't have Friday alert him of a, of a breach. Him flying backwards, after changing to smash into the ground and rip into it. Deku going to actually lay there on the ground as Friday does try to alert him. Why not Deku going to actually sit back up and bring his hands up, staring at the damage. Her talking about the integrity of his armor. And Deku, he's a stare at Steel. Him yelling at her about how crazy she is. And she does not appreciate that. Her yelling at Iron Man. Now, Deku does stare at her. And right now, that is just one problem. Her going to inform him. Bring up her right arm. That she'll have him handled soon enough. Her going to actually deploy smoke bombs. Now, she doesn't fire them out. And Deku, he does a try and turn looking around. Him trying to tell Friday to activate infrared. And Friday does gonna do so. Steel gonna do one thing. Bring her hand forwards and lighting an explosive. Her gonna shoot a missile directly down at the ground in front of Izuku. And Deku, he is temporarily blinded whenever that explosive does gonna go off. Now, Deku has his screen light up like a Christmas tree. His visor blinding his eyes as he's gonna fly forwards. Her bring her hand up and Drucky smashing her fist into Deku's chest. Her hitting up Drucky in the arc reactor. Now, Deku, his power source, is struck. And right now, Deku, he is in flying backwards, smashing onto the ground. Her bringing her hand up and stepping forwards, expressing to Iron Man. Her going to bend down and grab him by the throat. That he should really be aware. He's interfering. In things he really shouldn't. Now, Deku, he has to take back control of his armor. He couldn't get into her network, and that is not a good thing. Deku bringing his hands up and smacking them directly in the side of her face. And around Sasha, she has to take a step back. Deku blasting upwards into the air. And currently, he has to land and tell her. Fine. He was trying to be nice. He was trying to take out her tech. But if she doesn't want to play, this won't be good. Though, he wants her to understand. He wants the best for her. She's better than all of this. Now, just stared Iron Man, yelling at him. As Deku, he is to tell her. Her name is Sasha Hammer. Hmm? How do you know that? Why do you know that? Listen, it's not too late. Just turn yourself into S.H.I.E.L.D. You can stop this. 
Tell them what you did. Just clear my name. You, you don't have to. Shut up. You're using me. You're using me as a scapegoat. My grandfather was the scapegoat. He was my way out of this life. I found my way out of this. You wouldn't understand or get it. I've been dealing with them for years. Now I'm not. I'm okay. You're acting irrational. I'm acting perfectly rational. You don't understand a thing about me. Now, Degado's going to hesitate. Before, he has a blast up into the air. And Sasha, she does gonna give chase. Currently, Deku flying up fast and high. As she's gonna bring her hand up and shoot her grappling hook. Her reeling in Iron Man after just a smash rocket into his leg. And Deku, he's informed of another breach in his armor. And that, yeah, that's pretty bad. Currently, her trying to reel him in. Deku flying fast. As he's trying to keep the speed up. Now, Sasha doesn't electrocute him. Deku, feeling his armor begin to fry, as she has to catch up to him, her grabbing a jerky by the chest and pulling him up into the air, her bringing her fist back and clocking him across the helmet, yelling and screaming at Iron Man. And Deku, he does just take on the blows, him trying to at least analyze her tech a bit, trying to figure out how much energy she might be on. And that... Yeah, projections aren't coming back too good. And Sasha, she just continued to yell at Iron Man. Eventually, you're screaming out the words, he doesn't know a thing about her. Now, Deku, he actually bring up his hands. Him, gonna send out a sonic attack, as Sasha is struck in the ears again. Her recoiling backwards, as she's a let go of Deku. Deku, flying backwards, and then gonna do one thing Sasha doesn't expect him to do. He brings up his hands, and then goes to lower them down. Her staring at Iron Man, we're going to bring up her own. Her charging up her repulsor as she has a smile under her helmet. Deku undoing the mask. And as the Vice is to shoot up, Sasha stares on at... Izuku? Her going to lower her hand and power down the attack. Her having her own visor shoot up. But Izuku, is that you? Hey, Sasha. I... I'm sorry. I was hoping I could talk you down as Iron Man. <laughs> You're lying to me. You're not Izuku, are you? Sasha Hammer. Sasha. You like mocha lattes. We got some whenever we first met. You spilled one on me. And you apologized. It is you. Yeah. Sorry I haven't reached out to you. I thought you'd reach back. I knew you weren't doing too good, but Sasha, killing your grandfather? No, no, no. You don't understand. I did that for you. Sasha, why? Justin Hammer didn't need to die today. No one needed to die today. Deku was looking down. Before we're going to turn, looking around the city, seeing smoke rising in the distance and smoke over there, over there. No, what's happening? Now, Sasha is trying to fly forwards. Deku trying to ask Friday what the hell is going on in the city. And Friday does try to alert Izuku of a whole list of things that he decided to ignore. And that, that's bad. Now, Sasha's a turn to Izuku. Her going to fly forwards and ask questions. Why didn't he tell her? Why didn't he try and come out and say it if he knew she was Detroit Steel? And Deku, he does turn to her, trying to inform her. He was hoping he wouldn't have to have tried to convince her. But he didn't think that she was this... This way. And Sasha, she feels shot in the heart. Izuku's kind, gentle eyes, they stare at her, disappointed. Like she's a monster, like, like the way she looked at her grandfather. And Sasha, she's 
disgusted. She's concerned, confused. No, 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 no. She, she didn't... If he was... But this means... No, 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 no. Now, Sasha is going to bring her hands up to the side of her helmet. Her having a full mental breakdown. Before she has to look around, her staring up at Deku as her eyes are going to fill with tears. Her going to turn and blast away. And Deku, he is going to bring his hand up. Him going to begin to fly it towards her as there actually is Ironheart. Who doesn't at least activate her comms and try and tell Izuku. They have a massive problem. Now, Deku, he does look down. Him going to at least ask Friday about the reports. And Friday does begin to tell him. People are vanishing in mass. People are dying. People are getting hurt. I mean, planes and helicopters are falling from the sky. And cars are crashing People are just in a panic, in a frenzy. And Deku, he has to fly down. Him trying to discover what's happening. He's trying to find anybody he can save. But Deku doesn't see it. People just vanish into dust. He watches many of the people in the street just fly away in the wind. There. What's happening? Deku does get an alert from Friday. 10% battery life remaining. And Deku, he doesn't like that. Him going to turn and fly back to the armory. However, Friday keeps bombarding him with messages, telling him what's going on. And Deku, yeah. By the time he gets back to the armory, he is barely clutching on to battery life. And Deku, he has a land at 3%. Him going to walk into the armory and go to look around. Him bring his hand up and going to actually compact the suit. It going to fold into his backpack as Deku doesn't bring his hands down. Him pulling it up and over, setting it down and going to bring his hand down to the charger. Grabbing it and going to turn. Pressing down onto it to allow it to recharge. And Deku, he has a walk over and sit down. Him bring his hand up to his head, before going to actually wipe the blood off of his nose. Him seeing that, and it definitely has been worrisome. And Izuku, he's not sure what to do, not sure what to say. He tries to ask Friday for any information possible. And Friday, she pops up a whole list of things. These reports are not isolated to New York alone. They are everywhere. And Deku, that makes him a bit more concerned. I mean, this is... No, no, but... Friday estimates? Unsure. Current incoming data speculated to be about 30% of population. And climbing. Rapidly. Friday, call Sasha Hammer. Calling. Now, Deku, he does get sent straight to voicemail. And that, it does worry him. He was hoping to talk to her about helping to save people. But this is bad. She didn't answer the phone. And then Deku, he does think about two other people. He thinks about... Mom, Dad. I'm trying to give a phone call. People just started to disappear, and that wasn't good. Izuku not getting a response from his mom's phone number, or his dad's. And yeah, that's not good. I mean, there's anarchy going on right now when people are just gone. No, 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 no. The lines must be all blowing up. He's got to... He's got to do something. He's got to find them. He's got to make sure they're safe. Now, Izuku, he's going to gain a bearing on the situation. Him going to walk over and climb into his Mark II suit. Because currently, 
he needs to know what the hell is happening. And Deku, he does it a head off, trying to discover who is still left of not only people in S.H.I.E.L.D. possibly, in New York possibly, but around the globe. Because this stuff, it's real bad. It's something he's never seen before. Now, with that being said, I do hope you guys enjoyed. And have an amazing day. I'll catch you guys in the next part.